All right, welcome back to Harrison Field on the campus of Mobile Christian School. Todd Morris with you here on the Bulldog Radio Network, and it's time to sit down with UMS right head football coach Terry Curtis for our pregame interview. And uh, I'm just going to say, yay, week two, huh? We get to do it again. <laughs> well, we hope. We, <laughs> we hope. hope. <laughs> you know, we're here. We don't so, want to get uh, too excited, huh? Uh, you know, we hadn't started yet, but yeah. we're here. Yeah. So, uh, okay. you know, it's like we said last week, it's a day to day, but it, it seems like everything's a go. Uh, uh, we've had a, a, a good week of practice. Uh, uh, no problems or, or, or of anybody. Everybody's been there, so cross your fingers that uh, nothing happens yeah. in the next uh, hour. It, you know, it, it, every time you get on social media, you're somebody across the state's canceling something. Well, yeah, it's like we said. You know, there, there's been what four or five this week, yeah. and uh, uh, one of them is latest Tuesday, and one of them was on and off and on and off again. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a week to week, uh, going to be a week to week deal, and. And we just keep talking to our kids, Todd, about guys. It, it, just because we play the game is not over with. Right. We got to keep staying safe and doing the things that we need to do. And uh, you know, I think the things that our school's doing also is, is only helping. And uh, yeah, you know, everybody's in this. And yep. I even talked to my parents uh, uh, last Friday at breakfast and told them, uh, "Y'all, y'all, be part of this too now. And if you want to keep playing, so." So hopefully it will, you know, uh, like you say, though, it's just week to week, and we're glad to be a week to, yep. other than playing Mobile Christian. <laughs> well, let's let's talk about last week first. 24-6 victory over Baker last Friday night. Um, it was nice to play a game, feel a little normalcy and everything. From your end, how did you feel the, the, the night went overall with all well, the other things going on? I, I, I thought our effort was, was outstanding. I thought maybe we got a little tired in the second half, but uh, – you know, we didn't have any cramp. We didn't have a lot of people cramping up, and uh, and and it was really a, a pleasant night. Yeah. You know, it wasn't humid like like normal at this time, and like we're gonna probably get here the next few weeks. But it was just a nice, uh, 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 cool night, and uh, you know, good support, good fans, and uh, and a good Baker uh, football team. You yes. know, they had some good looking kids, and. Uh, and I really think they're going to be a, a force in that uh, in seven A. But uh, it was a good win. We did what we wanted to. We got to see a lot of players, and we're going to do the same thing tonight. We're going to still play a lot of these guys, and uh, not having spring training, not being able to do any seven on sevens yep. in the summer. Uh, I still got a lot of guys. We're still evaluating, and yep. and and that's going to go tonight, and uh, you know, then probably in after tonight once we get into region play and so forth. So, so, sophomore running back Cole Blaylock, I thought, had a good game. Um, 18 carries, 65 yards, and a touchdown. But I thought he showed a little poise in the backfield, setting up blocks, not being in a hurry. A um, little more experience, looked a little more experienced than a sophomore. You're exactly right. Uh, and, he, and he's shown that in practice. Yeah. Of course, you never know when they get in the game and, 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 and all that. And the, and the adrenaline's flowing, if, if that's going to stay. But he's really been really good at not getting in a hurry. And yeah. a young running back thinks he's got to hit that hole right now instead of kind of taking your time and, and letting the, the play kind of develop. And, and he's done a really good job at that. And, and I was glad also that, uh, you know, my deal was keep him under 20 carries. And, and I was able to uh, to do that. Uh, you always worry about a young kid, sure. durability, and, and, and uh, we won't cold for the long haul, you know. So uh, – so that's uh, that was important, but I did think he had a, a, a an excellent game. And then Colby Stafford, big touchdown reception to open the scoring. At, but I thought the kickoff return, the seventy five yard kickoff return, in the second quarter was a momentum changer. They just driven down the field and scored on us, and then boom, we get a big play from a guy that we're expecting big plays from. Exactly, uh, you know that that changed the whole game. Really. Yeah, they got in the momentum. The score I think was ten to six yep. at that point in time. And we return the kickoff, and that just deflates uh, the other team. And and uh, you know, and, and, and Baker was going to be hard to to handle without that. But but Kobe is one of our playmakers. He's yep. uh, he's uh, the fastest guy on our team, and uh, we're going to expect that week in week out for him to uh, uh, to make plays right. and, and different. The only thing I didn't like was him letting that, letting that ball hit the ground <laughs> because when that happens, you're not sure where it's going to right. go. He scooped and, it and uh, scored and, from uh, there. But so. uh, he broke a couple tackles and. Once he got open, he was gone. So that was good. Defense did well. Forced four turnovers all night. They looked quick, looked aggressive to the ball, happy with the way they played overall. Well, their energy. Again, just like the offense, uh, I thought they really played hard. Yep. We missed a lot of tackles. Yep. Uh, a lot of guys, like I said last week, we got a lot of 
guys, we got not a lot, but we got about half of them back. But most of them are playing new positions. Right. And, and, that, and that's different. It always worries you. And we were out of position a little bit, but we made up for a lot of it with, with, with the, the energy and how hard we were playing. And, and uh, I think it's going to get better every week. Uh, I feel a lot better about them this week than I did last yeah. week. You know, as far as what we were. And I'm sure that game speed completely different once they got out there on that. Well, yeah, that boy was a good running back now. Yeah. He's about a 205-pound yeah. running back, shifty, kind of knew what he was doing, senior. Yeah. They played a lot of football. So, uh, you know, he had a little bit to do with it, too. Right, yeah. All right, we're on the road, road this week for game two, traveling to Mobile Christian, a team that we've played the last few years. We've beat them, you know, pretty easily over the last – I won't say easily. It's a couple of them good fight, but – they got some Division One players on that team this year. Three of them that, that we know of. Um, what are we looking for tonight? What are we expecting from Mobile Christian? We expecting uh, like always. They got three or four prospects. Uh, they're a good looking team. They had to move up. They played the state championship game last year, and and and, and three, looking right? back at the film, they should have won that game. Yeah. Uh, 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 they 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 were probably the better team, and uh, and got beat. I think twenty six twenty four. But uh, you know they got the Lawson kid where. You know, seems like he's been playing for about five years now. But a uh, good-looking kid, makes a lot of plays. Uh, the other linebacker, five, is a, a good player. Then they got the uh, uh, DB, kick return, probably going to play off at wide receiver. Yeah. The Brooks kid is a, a, a committed guy. Then they got the wide receiver, the uh, uh, the Keegley kid, who, was, who may have been the best running back, uh, not the best running back, the best wide receiver. We saw all, all last year. Yeah. So, uh, so they got they got they got plenty of play. So it's going to be another tough game. And and like I said, we beat like you said that we beat them last <laughs> two or three times. So, so that's going to be you know I'm sure they'll have a little bit of revenge out there and, and want them to to get at us and yep. knowing our what we got going the win streak and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm sure they've talked about that a little bit. All right, coach. Thanks for joining us on the pregame show. We always look forward to hearing from you every week. Good luck tonight. Thank you, man. All Appreciate right. It. The UMS Wright looking to move to 2-0 and on the season here tonight on the road at Mobile Christian. We'll be back with the opening kickoff in just a minute. You're listening to the Bulldog Radio Network here on Sports Talk 99.5 Mobile and iHeart Radio Station. 